I just wanted to show off my buddy Jock's new knife. Uh, he had it sent to me before I sent it to him, and uh, I'm grateful. Thank you, Jock. This thing is awesome. Of course, I've been sort of treating it with kid gloves because it's got blasted titanium handles, and I don't want to put the first snail trail in it. Uh, but this is the exclusive, Knife Center exclusive, uh, Andrew Demko, or I should say Demko Knives, AD 20.5 and what a beauty it is. It's got a 3V steel blade, razor sharp, of course, with this gorgeous uh, sort of dark tumble. Um, and as you can tell, just beautiful titanium handles. Uh, just stunning here. You can see the patent number down there for the shark lock and a nice big pivot here. The pivot is impressive. I'll compare it in a second to a regular AD 20.5 from the first batch, uh, but look at this thing. Oh, it feels great in hand. And then I'll tell you, having a little bit more weight behind the shark lock is the way to go. Um, here's my AD 20, and it is considerably more heavy with this liner that's about this long and about that wide and the whole uh, shark lock itself and then these thick slabs uh, of uh, g10 having the weight behind this shark lock just makes it feel so good well same thing here you have a little bit more weight and solidity with that titanium and it makes the whole affair feel and sound better and yes i i think sound plays into the enjoyment of a knife. Uh, if we're going to go so far as to fidget with our knives, uh, why not appreciate the sound? Something uh, you'll notice now, this is my uh, AD 20.5 with the uh, shark's foot, a sheep's foot that only a mother's uh, mother could love. Uh, I, I talk about this a lot. This is a great, great blade. I'm not fond of how it looks, but that's part of why I wanted it. I don't know, I thought it would grow on me. Still don't like the way it looks, but it doesn't matter. This is an outstanding knife. I, this, is a, this is an in-the-pocket, light summer shorts uh, carry for me for sure. As a matter of fact, it's coming to the pool with me after this video. Uh, it's got a happy cord on it. Uh, so this is grivery or grivery, however that is pronounced, with full uh, liners, and yet it still feels very light. Not bug out light, but uh, relative to this, um, the action is, uh, just feels different. Feels great on the 20.5, don't get me wrong. Uh, but on this, I just like the weight. I like the solidity. Uh, you know I like bigger knives, so I'm used to the weight, and sometimes it's a benefit. And here it takes no effort. You just pull this back, and the blade drops in. Here, when I pull it back, eh, it still drops it. I, I feel like it takes a little bit more goading because of, I don't know, maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just crazy for titanium and, and trying to generate excuses as to why I need to get one of these. Uh, I don't have a clip point, that's for sure. Uh, one thing that you'll notice is that the pivot, this is like the pivot on the AD20, that 20.5, uh, or what is this? The AD20 um, that came out of their shop. Let's see. Actually, yeah. Uh, so it's about the same, but you'll see the size is the same. So here, if you're getting aftermarket scales for the AD 20.5, uh, they probably won't fit on your titanium uh, exclusive because of the pivot. Uh, so just be aware of that. First world problem, if, uh, if you have it, God help you. Look at these beautiful knives. I love this knife. I love what the Demkos do. Have you seen the AD-22? Have you seen how cool that knife is? They need to make an AD-24 and make that bigger, four inch. Oh my God, that thing is gorgeous. And it has the shark lock and just a really cool sort of Warren Cliff looking blade. And uh, geniuses, I tell you, geniuses over there. Well, Jock, thank you for letting me check out this exquisite uh, Knife Center exclusive 
Demco AD 20.5 in 3V steel and titanium. This is a honey, and I'm sure uh, I look forward to seeing it in your Instagram feed. You got to check out Jock's Knife on Instagram. Jock's Knife. He does, he just takes beautiful pictures. He lives over uh, in Great Britain, takes gorgeous pictures of his knives in uh, various environments, including work and including with his cool dogs. Um, so check him out. Thank you, Jack. Greatly appreciated. Take care.